have a question. My name is Franklin Drake. I was born on a little colony world on the edge of Cardassian space. After the Federation fell to the Klingons, a lot of people moved out of the war zones to try to make new lives. It worked. For a while. When the Bajorans discovered that wormhole and the Dominion invaded, no world, no matter how remote, was safe. I signed on to help fight the Dominion. For all the good that did. The Dominion swallowed the Bajorans whole and then joined up with the Breen and the Cardassians to destroy the Klingons and the Romulans. After that, it was just a matter of carving up the Alpha Quadrant. The Tholians got this piece of space in exchange for signing a non-aggression pact with the Dominion. It wasn't hard to see that the only way to survive was to sign on. Now I'm like you. I work for the Tholians, and in exchange I get a cot, a couple of replicated meals, and the chance to live for one more day. The little luck I'll get through tomorrow, too. Do you need anything else? Thank you, Captain. The Tholian Assembly appreciates your loyalty. So many ship captains threw away their lives needlessly in the days after they annexed this area of space. It'll take a few hours to offload your cargo. Feel free to grab a hot meal in the commissary. I know that comforts can be hard to come by in this sector. I recommend the Plomeek soup. It almost tastes like something. Do you need anything else? I haven't seen you around here before, Captain. Got a minute to talk? Call me Castillo. Not a lot to tell, I guess. I'm Lieutenant J.G. Richard Castillo, helm officer of the USS Enterprise C, an unwilling time traveler. I'm normally the helm officer, but I'm senior officer now that Captain Garrett and the rest of the senior staff are gone. I've got to do what the captain would want. Get us back to where we belong, and finish what we set out to do. I know this is hard to accept, but we're not supposed to be here. I know. I asked around about you, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you this, but I need your help. You're not supposed to be here. None of us are. Not in this timeline, I mean. My ship, my crew, we were supposed to do something important. We went through an anomaly, moved through time, and everything changed. We tried to go back. I guess the battle with the Klingons disrupted the anomaly. Instead of getting back where we belong, we ended up here with the Tholians running everything. I'd never even seen a Tholian before. You have to help us set things right. You have to help us get back to our ship. Me and my crew. There are a little over a hundred of us here, scattered throughout the work camp. We're about 65 years ahead of where we should be, according to my math. 
We were fighting the Romulans. This was back in 2344. And the weapons discharges caused a temporal rift. We passed through, and because we weren't at Narendra to do what we were supposed to do, the timeline changed. We ended up in a timeline where the Federation and the Klingon Empire were at war. The Federation was losing, badly. We tried to go back to set things right. But then the Klingons found us in the Enterprise D. There's someone here with us from that timeline. Her name is Tasha. I'll take you to her. Maybe she can help explain this. We need your help. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons, and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. What I learned, though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform, and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back to the Enterprise-C. I know this is a lot to accept, but you have to... We need your help. I'm from Starfleet, and if I'm right, that's a name that should ring bells with you as well. In an alternate timeline from this one, the correct one, Starfleet is still alive and well, and you're a Starfleet officer too. When the Enterprise C moved ahead in time, it created an alternate timeline, one in which I was alive but shouldn't have been. I left with the Enterprise to set things right. We thought we were returning to the Narendra system in 2344 to defend the Klingon colony there from a Romulan attack. We ended up in this nebula in 2409. The Tholians caught us before we could try again, and... <sighs> you can guess the rest. We're going to try to restore the timeline, but to do so, we need the Enterprise C. It's still in the hangar here, and as soon as we get back to her, we'll find the Temporal Rift and get back to where and when we're supposed to be. To do that, we need your help. Franklin Drake is already helping us. He managed to get an access key used to operate the systems in the hangar control room. We need you to get the code from Drake and use it to open the doors to the hangar control room. <sighs> I'd go myself, but we've already been here a week. The Tholians know we're trying to get back to the ship. They're watching us. But you're new. They won't suspect you're involved. That's the idea. Of course, it's not as simple as getting the code and opening the door. The Tholians have guards on all critical areas. You'll need to slip past the guards and get into the maintenance tunnels. From there, it's a winding maze to the hangar control room, which can only be unlocked from the inside. Once you get in, you'll be able to open the doors. We'll be waiting there to help you free the Enterprise. Here, take this communicator. It's on a scrambled frequency the Tholians don't monitor, and it'll allow me to contact you while you're on the move. Maybe you can convince someone to cause a distraction. That might make slipping past the guards into the tunnels easier. Take it. Here's a map, too. You'll need it in the tunnels. I still don't know why I'm risking my neck for this. Don't expect any more help from me. The Federation fell before I was born. I shouldn't even care, but... There's something about Yar and Castillo. I know they believe they can make a difference. It makes me want to believe. 
Do you need anything else? just asking to be polite, aren't you? I find idle chatter so tedious these days. Still, it's a way to pass the time. My name is Rugen Skyle. I used to be a member of the Cardassian government until I had a conflict with a rival faction. Politics on my world can be quite cutthroat. Now I'm here. It's better than execution, but only just. The food here is terrible, and the company <laughs> is worse. Another question? And what do I get for risking my life for you? Nothing, that's what. Not even a drop of canar. Find someone else to do your bidding, Captain. I don't take orders from anyone. How can I assist you? I'm Valkel Sean, captain of the Belfast. I run freight for the Tholians. Basic supplies, mostly. But once in a while, they need me to pick up dilithium from the mines on Remus. We're in dock here for a few days getting some repairs done. Cut too close to the Konos blast zone on my last trip back and ran into some raiders. They won't trouble anyone again. But they fused half my power conduits and fried the deflector before I managed to take them out. If there's anything else, I don't remember the Federation, or Starfleet. The war was almost over before I was born. This is the only life I know. One of servitude, deprivation, loss. I want something better. That freedom my parents and grandparents told me about. I want the Federation back. I'll help. Just tell me what you need. Well done. Those maintenance tunnels are a maze. They make navigating the Jeffries tubes on the Enterprise look easy. I recommend using the map to keep track of where you've been, what doors lead away from which room, and where you are currently. We've hit a snag. There are Tholians in the control room. When they're in there, they pump in a Tholian-friendly atmosphere and raise the temperature. It will kill us if we try to enter. You'll need to replace the methane-based atmosphere with something we can breathe and lower the ambient temperature in the control room before we can continue as planned. The Tholians are very precise. They want to learn everything they can about the ships they're capturing. All rooms connected to the hangars have their atmospheres exchanged to prevent damage to the systems they're dismantling for study. Also, sometimes they force humanoids to do the work for them, so they'll pump in something we can handle.
The Tholians will send someone to investigate. I am here to assist. What? My first posting in Starfleet was to an Ambassador-class vessel. I am familiar with most of the ship's systems, but I spent several months working on a refit of the ship's computer. I am competent. I can restore the ship's power levels quickly. Also, I do have some experience with Tholian technology from my time in the Resistance. If you prefer, I could attempt to deactivate the web shield or tractor beams. I am here to assist. We need to work. I was the helm officer in the Enterprise before everything went to hell. But I'm really handy with heavy machinery, like those clamps holding the ship. I know I could take care of those and get us free. If you need me to do something else, maybe I could work on that web shield. It will need to come down before it can fly out of here. Or the ship's power. I know every inch of the old girl. If I could figure out the Tholian interface, I might be able to connect to the ship and restore the power remotely. We need to work together. What do you want me to do? We don't have much time. I know a few tricks to take that tractor beam system offline. I'm also fairly confident that with enough time, I can release the docking clamps holding the ship or take down the Tholian's web shielding. We don't have much time. Accessing web emitters now. I'll need to destabilize the energy matrix. Tholian webbing is down. I thought you deactivated all the security protocols. Do you want me to do that for you? I know a few things about force fields. Having trouble? You do know that we could have Tholians swarming us any minute, right? I thought we took care of everything. Starfleet Protocol 547C clearly states I don't that think the Tholians have heard of Protocol 547C. Captain, I'm detecting Tholian mesh weavers headed for our position. Building an 
more breathers on an intercept here. Tholian recluses moving into weapons range. I recommend invasive action. Tholian Tarantula on sensor. Out of nowhere and destroyed that Tholian tarantula. I've never seen a ship of that configuration before, or one with that kind of Looks fire. Looks like we could use some help. We took a hit. Phasers are partially offline. We'll need to work together to take out this last ship. The way is clear, and the temporal anomaly has been stabilized. Head for the Anomaly Enterprise. It will put you back where you need to be. That's my job. The details aren't important. Restoring the timeline is. Get moving. The Tholians are already starting to regroup. I'm sure you've realized by now, you're part of a very different timeline. This one is an aberration that we are here to correct. It would be irresponsible of us to let you go back in time with the Enterprise-C, and compromise that timeline as well. We'll send you back to your time. 
There are still some very important events in the 25th century that you need to be a part of. As soon as the Enterprise-C returns to its correct place in history, the timeline should right itself.